Number one thing I want to say is I'm not going back to mukbangs. Welcome to the very first edition of yet another Foodie Beauty Reaction Channel. That's right, she's also known as Chantal or Chantal Marie Serra. If you're from La Belle Provence in Canada, whether if you're to Poutine as Putin, mon ami, <laughs> tabernacle. How do you like my uh, opening graphic there and my theme song? Good stuff, right? Well, stop looking at it, because we got to use that sparingly. It's, it's, it's all the budget we got. Let's uh, go to a different still. Now, this here is where all the fun started. July 10th, 2020, this month that I am publishing this, that was the day that Chantel made the video that's in front of you right now. And that's her thumbnail, not mine. Pre-weight loss versus post-weight loss. There she sits. With greasy hair, wearing a moo, moo And I said, that's it. I, look at the look on her face. She's like, looking at her audience like they're idiots. And if you keep taking it, then you are an idiot. So, you know, she was already getting on, on, uh, getting on my back. With the way she treats her fans. And I said, that's it. That's it. Just the thumbnail alone. And then I got in there. And she said, no more mukbangs. And then as soon as she said it, she said, oh, well, no more unhealthy mukbangs. Give me a quick review. Quick review. And then I'll show you what she did five days later. I'm not going back to mukbangs. I'm not going back to unhealthy mukbangs. And this is the butter chicken one. And that was it. Even though I'm still a fan, I wish she would get her act together. That was a straw that broke camel back. And I said, this woman is just making fun of her audience on a regular basis. Just being mean to the people that support her. And now she's got another reaction channel. And by the way, and stick with me now. I know you got a short attention span, and so do I. This is the first episode. This is going to be a reaction channel. I'm going to put some work into it. You are going to be entertained, I promise you. There will be entertainment. I'm not just going to play a bunch of clips and let the thing fall off uh, fall off, off cliff. There are going to be reaction in here. It's going to be work. This is going to be some good material. So, let's get on to react to what she did on July 10th. 2020 saying no more mukbangs and she done fall out the way I, I started this channel you can go to the about section of this channel you'll see that i started on july 12th she did this on the 10th i started the channel on july 12th i didn't even have time to put the channel together before she broke her word let's get into this now over the years she's had tons and tons of tons of people that have tried to help her she's tried to lose weight a ton of times and i can why are you getting footage of obese to beast at the start? Because that's what Chantel put in there. She is using a clip of obese to beast to try to make the argument that when he was talking about Amberlynn Reed trying to lose weight and fail all the time, Chantel wants you to think that he's saying the same thing about her. And he isn't. He wasn't talking about Chantel. And it's funny because Chantel strikes everybody's channels all the time. Yet when it serves her purposes, she takes somebody else's footage to use it for herself. Right? I just want to remind you as we go forward with this, he's not talking about Chantel, he's talking about Amberlynn Reed. I can say that it would be really nerve wracking because, you know, coming from someone that's lost 180 pounds, if I were to film myself every single time I had tried to lose weight before this time, I would probably be having people say the same thing to me. Like, you don't actually want to lose weight, you don't care. Y'all hey. now see how she starts with a big smile? That's because she knows by the time you get to her, you would have already heard Obese to Beast talking about Amberlynn Reed and saying, you know, when someone keeps failing, you know, it's like, you know, if I would have done the same thing, I would have had a hard time too. And Chantel is thinking to herself, see, that proves what I'm about to say. You see, he, he, he's really talking about people like me too. And uh, his struggle is the same thing as my struggle. No, <laughs> he ain't got nothing in common. <laughs> there ain't nobody more abusive to their audience than Chantel Marie. So, uh, the, she knows, that's why she's smiling. She got the lies all ready to go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, the intro clips are from Obese to Beast. He has a very large 
weight loss and fitness channel. If you are not familiar with him, please check him out. I will link the videos I used for my video in the description below. I was using his videos not so much to affirm what I'm about to talk about, but more to say what I want to say. He, he had a really good way of putting what was on my mind for the subject that I'm going to talk about. So I wanted to use those clips to kind of give you another perspective. Y'all hear her say clips and you only got one clip of a beast of beast. Why am I telling you this? Because this this is the first episode. And you say, hey, you're leaving something out here. Uh, bottom right, she says, I decided when editing to use only uh, the one clip. You can't read it because she's got white on top of her white and black moo moo. And the rest of the white's on the base background. I know, just a little technical point. I just want to let you know. I'm not leaving anything out of this reaction. Of how I'm feeling. So I'm just gonna get my message out in this one video. Instead of constantly bombarding my community post section with these passive aggressive posts. Do you not just love the Chantel cycle? You know? I say, oh, I I'm so passive aggressive. And then she keeps on being passive aggressive. Here's the Chantel cycle right here. Uh, you can pause it and uh, blow it up on your desktop, have a better look at it. And she just goes ahead and does it anyway. And so, oh, I'm sorry for this. And, you know, it's not sorry for anything. Just go, keeps on doing it and abusing her fans. When I'm just going to do this one video, state what I want to say, my opinions and thoughts on the subject matter, and then move on from it <laughs> and just put out my videos for you guys. So number one thing I want to say is... I'm not going back to mukbangs. Have y'all ever heard the story about the boy who cried wolf? If you haven't heard it, I'll give it to you real fast. So there's this village, and there's a boy, and whenever he sees a wolf, he's supposed to yell, There's a wolf! There's a wolf! And get everybody ready to fight the wolf. So the boy does it as a joke. He does it once. He does it twice. Three, four, five. I don't know. Maybe even six times. Wolf! 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 And laughs at everybody when they react. And sooner or later, people get fed up with that boy. And then, one day, the wolf showed up. And the boy cried wolf. And nobody helped him. He got eaten by a wolf. That's what Chantel's doing. I mean, I, 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 I can accept somebody trying and failing and trying and failing. Many, many times. It's just that the heart of all of this is immorality. That she's getting paid thousands of dollars a month to do this. And I'm a capitalist. If she has the opportunity to make money, good for her. I hope I make money with this. I hope to join the folks that also make money with Chantel Reaction Channels. She, she has done it so many times. And she has to keep doing it. Because it's her only source of income. That eventually, her true motivations become apparent. So this was like the umpteenth time for me. And she got to keep doing it for people who don't have enough sense to walk away from her. And she says, no more mukbangs. It was five days later she broke her word. And I knew she would. You can check the about section of this channel. I started this thing up on the 12th. Took a bit of time to work on it. YouTube is not my only source of income. There she is. No more mukbangs. Five days later. She's right back into him. And here's, here's another clip. As soon as she said, no more mukbangs, she added something to it. Get this. I'm not going back to unhealthy mukbangs. As soon as she said, no more mukbangs, if you were to count two seconds from that moment, no more mukbangs, one one thousand, two one thousand, that would have overlapped her saying, no more unhealthy mukbangs. So she actually broke her word within two seconds. And if you look at the history of my channel, it's been a complete mess. And that's my own fault because I go... This here is a part of the Chantal cycle where she says, Oh, it's my own fault. And then, and, and then when she gets angry, she says, Oh, it's all your fault. You tell me to diet. I don't want to diet. You tell me to, to eat all this food. I don't want to eat all this food. It doesn't matter what you do. If, if you support her and say, I, that's great that you're on diet, or that's great that you're not going to listen to anybody and go ahead and enjoy your food, it doesn't matter what you say. She turns around and blames you. That's the other part of the cycle. That's why she's got to have another reaction channel. And this is it. I can't take your garbage anymore.
I would go, I started as doing mukbangs and then I would, you know, um, do weight loss content back to mukbangs. I would get fed up. I would get, there's a continual pattern of getting overwhelmed with doing a weight loss journey. I really do savor this moment. <laughs> she says it's overwhelming doing a weight loss journey on YouTube. She's essentially living by herself because she and Pete's are not married. They, they, they live their own lives and nobody's committed to each other. Pete's can go see other people. She can go see other people. And she don't have a job. There's no kids to take care of. It's overwhelming to take my meals on camera and take 20 minutes to upload it to the internet. It's overwhelming. You people have no idea. You just don't understand. Oh, really? On YouTube. Now, there's two kinds of weight loss journeys, okay? Do you like that condescending tone she takes with you? As if you were a simple child and how she shakes her finger at you? You can go back and play that again if you want. Now, there's two types, okay? There are not two types. If you have a weight loss journey, say, I gotta lose 50 pounds, and you go and you give it a try and it falls apart, there's no journey. You failed. Now, if you fail and fail and fail and fail and fail and fail and you do it all on camera and you blame your audience, you don't take any responsibility for it, that isn't a, 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 a kind of weight loss journey. That's just being an idiot. Do it the way a beast beast does it. That's doing it. There are not two kinds. There's pre-weight loss journeys, which are pre-weight loss, pre-weight loss. Then there's post-weight loss journeys, which is what obese to beast is. And he's reached his goal. He's now working on educating people on maintaining that weight loss. He's helping share his journey because he's he is the inspiration. He's he's made it to the finish line. He's put in the hard work. He knows what to do. He's done it. Okay. And he's found something that works for him. Definitely. What has he found? A little thing called diet and exercise. This girl refuses to exercise. She she thinks that it's going to be like a magical unicorn is going to come out of the clouds and say, take this pill. Oh, no, while you're at it, spend a quarter of a grand on, on a juice cleanse over three days. That ain't going to work. And she can keep trying, and it's going to keep not working. I'm going to give her the advice what she needs. Just buy a treadmill. Use that a little bit every day. Then go have a shower. Eventually that treadmill will become part of your life. You get a faster metabolism. Oh, why do I even try? Why do I even try? Go get another pill, Gentile. Um, weight loss journeys are very personal. They are not personal. When you are a piece of Canadian white trash and you have no other source of income and you got to take in enormous amounts of food on camera to make your life a sideshow because you're not good for anything else, that's when they're not too dang personal. And it makes yourself look real silly to go up right back on the same platform and say, you know, this is really personal and I feel like my privacy is being invaded. Who set up the camera, girl? Who set up the camera? There's a million and one ways to achieve weight loss. And maybe you should pick one. I'm going to say it again. You got money to burn. So buy a treadmill. Don't get another juice cleanse. Don't get any more exotic health food that you're just going to throw away anyway. Get that treadmill. Give that thing a try. And actually try for a couple of months. A million and one ways? I just gave you one. You won't do it. You won't do it. Oh, look. I, I got uh, some more stevia ketchup here. That'll do it. You are a fool. You are a fool. And... uh. There's different forms of obesity. So there's eating disorder, there's food addiction, there's all kinds of different things. Chantal, are you willing to accept the fact that things such as laziness and immaturity exist? There's all kinds of things, yeah. Laziness, it's for real. Immaturity, it's for real. You never learn that putting in some work is a choice. And you never learn to respect 
the maturity of adulthood and say, I got to do this. You just cave in and cave in and you blame your audience. What influence can your audience have on you? You're the one that's in the control. You put the camera on yourself. You upload the videos to the platform, girl. And it affects everyone dis differently. And how they deal with it is going to be different for everyone. And what really, I liked what he really talked about that really hit home for me, as you saw in the clips, is he's reached the end goal and started doing his videos. Now, if he, uh, he's, he's had many failures along the way. So I think he understands, you know, people like Amber Lynn and I. That was a sly name drop. Wasn't too brash. It was there the same. It is such a joy to be able to be an active participant instead of being a fan. Look at her struggling to find acres of nonsense and gibberish to fill that video with. He was talking about Amberlynn Reed. He was not talking about you. The, the strange way in which you do things, which is making a mess of everything on camera, and then when everything falls apart, you blame your fans as if they control your life, is ridiculous, and he wasn't talking about you, girl. Who are on these journeys. He understands the failures, and, you know, if his comment section or his reception might be very different if he was doing his journey from the beginning. No, it would not, because he's a man. And he doesn't blame his bad choices on everybody else. And that's not being sexist or nothing. A strong woman can do the same thing. And she makes mistakes, she can blame it on herself. What you do is blame everything on everybody else. Oh, it's you people! You try to turn this into a diet channel, that's not what I want! Oh, it's you people, you demand that I eat all this food, that's not what I want! What are you saying, you can't make a single choice yourself? Well, you do make a choice, which is you got to keep making these videos because at the end of the day, it's the only income you got. You have to keep coming back to this place. That's why I'm doing this channel now. Because you've come back to this place so often that now we can tell just how dishonest you really are. And Obese to Beast did not do that. Uh, now, I'm not saying it would be completely negative. Wash that damn hair, girl. Wash that greasy hair. You see what I mean? Grow up. Put in some work being an adult. You're going to be making a big speech on YouTube? Take half an hour. Have a damn shower. Wash that damn hair. You won't do it. That's the problem. You don't have no special condition. You're just lazy. You don't care. But, um, he has a point. So I fall into the pre-weight loss category. And can you guess how many people are in the pre-weight loss category? Just one. You. Because you're hallucinating it don't exist the pre weight loss category where you uh you got a weird life and you, you don't have a job and you you don't do anything constructive and you got a passive aggressive bitter personality and uh you, you, the only income is uh, making a pig of yourself on youtube and you, you try to do a diet and it falls apart because you're lazy and you don't put any work into it and you blame the, the audience and then when you eat too much you blame the audience uh, that special category is only in your imagination, girl. There ain't nobody writing books about it because it ain't real. It's just some nonsense you made up to justify your sloth and gluttony. And where I'm still... What? An insufferable little girl? Refuses to grow up? You, know, what, you just stuff yourself with it? I got a special condition. Okay. All right. You got a special condition. You have no willpower of your own. Uh, everybody else is making you do this to yourself. Okay, sure, whatever you say. Now, uh, 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 you can take any respons responsibility for any of this. No, it's all the people on the internet that they do it to me. They control me. All right, so um, why is it you're in control of uh, uploading the stuff to the platform and you're in control of cashing the checks and spending the money? And that, 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 that's different. I, 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 I got a condition. I have no ability to make a decision on my own. And, and, and all the people on the internet control me. They make me eat too much. Alright. Yeah, you got a condition, alright. Ridiculous, childish, immature, lazy, passive-aggressive jerk. Coming to terms with 
my issues. Like what? Faking having diabetes? Stuff like that, huh? Where other people, you know, put themselves together trying to do something constructive. You're hatching these schemes in the apartment. I know what I'll do now. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna fake diabetes. Yeah, I'm gonna make a community post on my channel and say I got some real bad news. Oh, the, the doctor's sending me to a diabetic clinic and and then you turn around and say, I never said I had diabetes. <laughs> you white trash. You Canadian white trash. Girl. I'm still uh, trying to find something that works for me. No, what you are trying to do is find yourself a gadget or a pill that's going to take the place of diet and exercise. And it ain't coming. Along the way, you're going to blame your audience for everything while you keep cashing the checks, girl. I'm still seeking out help. And rejecting it. And hoping that we all forget it. Or if we don't forget it, hoping that we're all so stupid. That, oh yeah, uh, Chantel certainly uh, seeking out help. She's trying to find her way. She's in the, the pre-weight loss uh, uh, area of this sort of, sort of thing. It, it makes total sense. I mean, she's uh, dealing with her issues and uh, looking for a unicorn to come out of the clouds and give her a magic pill. And, and she doesn't have to do diet and exercise. And, and it was about the better part of two years ago, your doctor gave you... A whole special diet just for you? He said, oh, uh, it's, it's not for me. Yeah, yeah, you're looking for help. You're, you're looking for help, all right. You're toxic. You're toxic force on YouTube. And people should start making fun of you more often. I'm still uh, a lot of trial and error. Do y'all see how you have to be a whole heck of a lot more than just a little bit insane? to be a Chantel fan. Uh, there's a lot of uh, 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 trial and error. Uh, yeah, if you eat like pizza and a cake, um, you're going to gain weight. Um, let's see, if you sit around all day long uh, watching movies, you're not going to lose any weight. There, there's some trial and error. Let's see, I got a mountain of uh, potatoes. If I eat that, it is that going to make me gain weight, maintain, or lose weight? Hmm, I don't know. Um, uh, gosh, uh, let, let, let's see if, if I eat, like, a bucket of pasta. Now, it's, I, I, it's just another trial and error here. I, I have to find out. Does a bucket of pasta make you get, lose weight? Um, how about that pizza? Uh, it's like a, a 2,500 calories in the dough alone. If I put a tomato on top, does that make it health food? A lot of failure, a lot of... Um, lack of motivation, a lot of uh, denial, and it, the post, you know, somebody who's doing a, a journey who's post weight loss is obviously going to have a better reception on that. Do you not find it hilarious the way she regards her own nonsense and gobbledygook as if it was real? And she just carries, oh, uh, certainly, um, in the post uh, weight loss uh, area of, uh, of, of the weight loss, you uh, uh, get, get uh, uh, it, it's uh, quite easier at that point. <laughs> You're faking diabetes. You're, you you having hallucinations that the people who check in on your channel are controlling your life. You're crazy. You need more than, than, a, than a weight loss therapist. You need a psychiatrist today. And that, that's one of the things I noticed with the difference between the two types of weight loss channels is... Channels? You're talking about channels. I thought you were talking about a deeply complex uh, uh, psychological difference between uh, trying to find the way uh, to find a path to weight loss and actually achieving it. Oh, you're just talking about channels. <laughs> Well, excuse me then, blithering idiot. That whenever you're struggling, um, you feel like you're letting people down, and that can <sighs> she is acting, okay? What you just witnessed there is a horrible performance from a woman who's never attended college for acting. And just sits around and watches Netflix all day. Uh, somebody who prepared for the role by not even bothering to have a shower. And it's, uh, it's well, 
really it can be it and what she knows what she's doing just keep the drama going keep the checks coming just to keep showing up has to keep blaming the audience for everything I do believe she does have a, 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 a very properly defined condition she's schizophrenic it can cause you to want to evade the problem and just give up with the journey because if you say you're going to lose 30 pounds or 15 pounds like obese to be said and then you you don't you know you're going to let a lot of people down so you're going to want to be um, dishonest about it or you're going to want to evade the problem did y'all see that weird edit that's not for me that's from her I'll make sure you get everything in this reaction. Those crazy edits are coming from Chantel. That means she's following a script in her head. And this whole thing is phony. And it's not working. Oh, I gotta cut that. I gotta cut that out too. This is fake. So my problem with the weight loss journey. Y'all not on a weight loss journey. And it ain't plural either. Oh, I, what are you doing? I'm doing weight loss journeys. What do you mean doing weight loss journeys? You're on one weight loss journey. It succeeds or it fails. Yet you're not on, on several weight loss journeys at the same time. And you're not on a weight loss journey. You're on a cycle journey to create drama for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. You're nuts. You believe that, that the people on, on the internet are controlling your life. They force you to eat and they force you to go on a diet. You need psychiatrists. You, you, you need psychiatrists today, girl. That I've, I've started to share with you guys and my frustrations and why I find it overwhelming. If y'all gonna keep using that word, overwhelming, I'm gonna keep rebutting it. There's nothing overwhelming that you have to do in a day. You watch TV until five o'clock in the morning, roll out of bed at three in the afternoon, there ain't no job to go to. There ain't no responsibilities. Pete cleans up after himself because you share in the kitchen. The cats cannot make any demands on you. It's like, here, take your food and take your water. That's it. It's up to you if you want to clean the house a little bit. Keep that dander off your ass. There's no overwhelming. You haven't had a job, a real job in so long, you don't even know what overwhelming is. Is that i find it very overwhelming sharing something that i'm very vulnerable about something that's very personal for me stop playing head games girl oh you, you don't understand it's very overwhelming for me to have to share something that's very personal for me you do you, you people just don't 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 get it uh, when this happens in the negativity um then don't do it Ain't nobody making you do it. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. I'm, I'm such a victim here. Um, I have issue with people being so negative um, towards my weight struggles or pointing out. There's a lot of hate watching. There comes a time when for something such as this, you just got to say, this woman's just crazy. And uh, she's permitted to be on YouTube to be as crazy as she wants to be. It's uh, uh, it, 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 there's, it's very personal. Uh, my my weight struggles, and you're all watching it. Then go do it in private. And you put it up there yourself. You go, okay, it's all done. It's all shot all the footage. Now I'm gonna put it on the platform. Oh look, you're all looking at me. Oh, it's very private. She's just crazy. She's just crazy. You can't say this in her comments. She's just crazy. She's crazy. Basically, it's uh, the majority of it for Amber Lynn. Please stop using Amber Lynn's name. Because I will get this video published today. July 18th, 2020. And this afternoon, as I check, Amber Lynn's five most recent videos add up to 539,000 views. And your five most recent add up to 139,000 views. You're not in the same category. Just because you're overweight, you're not in the same category. You're not a big deal. You're a small player. It's hate watching. The majority, a lot of it for me is hate watching. I do have a very strong fan base. And I love you guys. But in general. Really now. 
In general, you don't love any of your fans. That's why I treat them so poorly. Like, you got uh, quite a few subscribers, yet those people are turning off. They're just forgetting to go in there and, you know, uh, do the unsubscribe button. It's just, you know, who wants to, who wants to, uh, to go to the channel and get uh, spit on by, by you all the time. You, you can mention Amberlynn's name. It's not helping. You small player. She, she's different. She's a bit of a troll. And she's overweight. You outright hate your audience. Um, for people like myself and Amberlynn struggling with weight, it's, um, there's a lot of hate watching. And hate watching basically people wanting to see us fail. Gonna do this again. I used to be a fan. I'm fed up with the way you treat people, the, the way you, you, you play head games, the way you lie all the time. Oh, all the people are making me eat all this food. All the people are making me do this stuff. You're crazy. You're crazy. Here I go. I'm going to try. Buy yourself a treadmill. Use it a little bit every day. Where can people say they can't go to the gym because they ain't got time? You got all the time in the world. Roll out of the bed. Get on the treadmill. And try that for a couple months. You won't do it. You're looking for a magic pill. You are crazy. You are crazy. And I know that if we did get our shit together and lose weight, lose the weight and everything, I think we would have a really big following and support system. But what people don't realize is that negativity in the in between and the shame is. Y'all like how she puts a little laugh in there to make it seem like she's telling the truth to you? Well, there's a lot of negativity. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of shame in here. <laughs> so don't make the video. Don't make the video and don't put it on the platform. Ain't nobody making you do this. It's not Pete's. Hell, he looks like he can barely walk around. Like he's comatose. Uh, he ain't making you do it. It's you putting it on the platform. And, oh my goodness. There's a lot going on here. Don't make the videos. Don't post them on the platform. It's what make, deters me from wanting to share. Because. And that's why I used Obese to Beast. Stop using the man's name. He's got nothing to do with this crazy idea you have. Of, 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 of pre-weight loss. And post-weight loss. What, he did it for real. What you got is a drama channel. We're just, just there to make money, and that's it. You're not interested in losing any weight, girl. Because he understands that. He knows, you know, like, like, as somebody who has an eating disorder. Yes, you do have a disorder. It is schizophrenia. The people, they make me eat all the food when I don't want to. The people, they make me go on tough diets when I don't want to. The people, they make me... Shoot the footage of myself on camera. The people, they make me publish it. And then, all the people make fun of me after they force me to do it. They keep making me do these videos. And then, they, they attack me once they get the videos that they want. It's out of my control. The people, they do it. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. And if you do not have schizophrenia... Then you are just royally effed up, and you are doing this for some sort of deep, dark, evil, psychological fetish mechanism by which you enjoy being angry at people, and you enjoy being mean to people. You enjoy hurting people, and telling them off all the time, and shutting them down, and deleting their comments, and telling them that they're evil, and attacking you all the time. And that, hurting other people for your own enjoyment, is really what your channel is all about. Um, shame is a big part of that. You know, whenever I do have a binge, which I don't do on camera, I like to do that. That's just something shameful I do alone. And that's why, you know, I would hide the pizza boxes. I would hide the McDonald's wrappers. And, like, just from as long as I can remember hiding food. And that's that's one symptom is the hiding of the food and feeling the shame. And whenever you have... She wishes that she was on Oprah right now. 
She, is she just sitting there pretending she's on Oprah daydreaming? People, you know, if you have a binge and, and you have people, you just have to see these comments every day. No, you do not have to see these comments every day because you do not have to publish your binges on the channel. Do y'all now see how... how uh, you, you gotta be as crazy as her to watch her channel, take it seriously. She's sitting there, straight, telling the people, you know, this is tough. There's a lot of shame. You have a binge, and you have to have thousands of people uh, uh, shaming you for it. Then, do not publish the binge. Do not publish a cheat meal. This woman is nuts. She's just nuts. With people saying... She benched again. Here we go. Here. Do you see why I stopped being a fan? She's making it sound like, oh, uh, it's all gonna happen. She just enjoys being a professional victim. You're just watching somebody crazy with a camera and a YouTube channel. Enjoying pretending to be a victim all the time. And if you accept that you're as crazy as she is. There's the cycle. You just have all these people kind of trivializing a problem that you really, it's a demon that you really are struggling with, even if people don't feel like it looks that way to them. Really now? Please, Chantal, pay attention. This is a cheap treadmill. This is 303 Canadian dollars. Chantal, you got enough money to go buy one of the uh, electric ones that will actually pull you along a little bit. And will force you to keep up with it for, for a time. You want that demon off your back? You buy a treadmill. You roll out of bed. Look a mess just like you are now. You don't have to shower. You don't have greasy hair. Get on that treadmill. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. All you can take of it. Get it off. Go have a shower. Clean yourself up. Eat whatever you want. And just let that treadmill be part of your routine for a couple of months. Eventually... It, 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 will, it will start to help. Your metabolism will get faster. You get to back away from all that garbage food. Here it is. Here it is if you want that demon gone. That's all you got to do. Of course, you don't want to do that. You want a magic pill from a unicorn. And you want to look like a victim all the time for some sick reason. Um, you know, I've had people criticize if I'm actually depressed. It is true. You are not really depressed. Because people who are genuinely, medically, clinically depressed... They can't get out of bed. They can't get get to work. They don't enjoy clowning around with their cats. They don't enjoy going online and buying silly stuff like you do and showing it off on internet TV like you do. You're not you're not depressed. You're just lazy and petulant. You see, you keep saying disorder and oh, oh I'm I'm depressed too. You know what else is also real? Just being lazy and petulant, being an immature, overgrown little girl. You're not depressed. You do it in service of those who are. This and that. And I know, like, it's the internet and people are going to be negative and comment no matter what. So you are completely right all the time. And anybody who has any criticism is just being negative. Is that correct, Chantel? Listen, you, 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 I'm going to say it again because you keep portraying yourself as a victim again. And I can't put this in your comments. You're pretending that people are running your life and they're not. This is all some giant drama that you do for money. That's it. But I find that there's just a very saturated amount of that negativity when it comes to weight loss journeys with certain people um, on this platform. And I really find that to be a form of fat shaming and discrimination. The only way that you can watch the Chantel channel is by doing it with the reaction channels. The ones that are already there... And with mine too. You cannot tune into Chantal and sit there and have her tell you, I'm being discriminated against. Nobody is discriminating against Chantal. Far from it. Chantal comes to YouTube, nobody's stopping her from doing what she wants to do. She wants to be on YouTube, she wants to make money. She can do it. She says, YouTube, I'm a heavy girl. I'm crazy. I want to uh, be crazy on your platform. YouTube says, well, as long as you don't threaten to kill anybody, as long as you don't threaten to damage anyone's property, you're welcome. Make some money for yourself. Make some money for us. Entertain some crazy people just as crazy as you. 
Nobody discriminated against Chantel. Heck, if anything, she's getting treated better than other people. I looked it up. She got no job. She's in the province of Ontario in the country of Canada. You know what you get? You got no job there? On welfare, $733 per month. Heck, on YouTube, she's getting about four times that. Discrimination. She's welcome to do whatever she wants. Not being discriminated against. Do you know where people make an argument for discrimination? When they're in the street carrying a sign, doing a protest. They don't do it when they're on the inside. She's on the inside making good money, doing next to nothing. Actually, you could say she is doing nothing because all she's doing is taking her meals and running the camera while she does so. The very act of her sitting there saying, you know, I'm being discriminated. You're, you're, you're part of the fun. You're welcome to be on the platform. Uh, here I am making all kinds of money doing nothing. And, and I'm being discriminated. You're actually there doing the talking on the platform. It's impossible you're not being discriminated against. It's a form of shaming. And you're shaming a person who's fat. And you're shaming them for not being able to um, bend over and put socks on. Or you're shaming them for... Um, not being able to walk two blocks or you're shaming them for being 400 pounds 500 pounds and that is fat shaming the people who criticize you are doing so because you act crazy and you're making money by doing it and you're dishonest all throughout this reaction this is the first one of another channel I have not made fun of you once for being fat I am criticizing you because you lie and you say that the people are forcing you to eat all this food and they're not and you say that the people are forcing you to do a tough diet when you don't want to do it and they're not you're nuts I'm not making fun of you because you're fat I'm calling you out for being crazy that's it and it's just um, it's very prevalent and it's just really is frustrating and it's it's negativity extra negativity that is really hard to deal with sometimes um another thing is the pressure um whenever you have a larger following of people like i follow some weight loss channels that don't have a very large following and their comment section for example is always very positive positive. and side note i put so much emphasis on the comment section because this is a social media platform and there's no, there, it, there's supposed to be some sort of social interaction with your viewers. I mean, they're taking the time to follow you. And it's, I'm talking about my fans, my, my followers who just, you know, love my content. I'm not talking about like haters and trolls. I'm talking about, you know, you're supposed to interact with them, like their comments, acknowledge what they're saying, you know. You, hey, I had to stop her. I would just imagine everybody clicking off. She's so boring right now. Heck, she's boring me, and I'm trying to get this reaction channel started. It's easy for her. She's already made her money. She's already monetized. I, I, I'm trying to get this thing going. It's like, wow, shut up. You're boring. Yeah, let, let me explain it for you, Chantel. Your way of interacting with people is to be dishonest with them. Then when they call you on it, you uh, delete them. And then when a whole bunch of people call you on it, you go, okay, no more comments. I'm turning the comments off. That's why other people's channels have got positive comments and you got folks saying, stop being dishonest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that goes. That's what it's for. It's not just you talking at people. When you gain this, you, this mass of people who are supporting you and they look up to you. Nobody is looking up to you. There you are giving a giant speech again. And you know it's going to be a long time on camera, and you can't even bother having a shower. You're sitting there all greasy. Ain't nobody looking up to you, Chantal, at all. And they have the same problems as you. They start to see themselves in you, and they expect things from you on, a, on, a, on this journey. Please stop using that word, journey. You've been using it for years. I'm, I'm on a journey. Uh, Y'all come with me on, on, on this journey. Every time you make it fall apart, the journey's over. You're not in any journey because you've been doing this for years and you're not even maintaining the weight. You're getting heavier and heavier every month. There's no journey. Every time you blow it, it's gone. And you done blown it again. 
You're not on a journey. Your channel is about false drama to create entertainment for weirdos to make money with. And I'm done being one of those weirdos. I'm doing a reaction channel now. And sometimes people expect too much. You know, um, it gets very tiring where you have a meal, for example, and you have to justify every single thing you eat because no matter what it is, somebody's going to pick that apart. Like, oh my God, that has so many carbs. It has so much sugar. You know, I, I remember one comment one time somebody said, your breakfast is like 400 calories. Okay. And you know what? There is that fake laughter again that she puts in there on purpose to make it seem like what she's got to say is for real. And, and you know, uh, people criticize what you're eating and they say that that thing there's got a lot of calories. <laughs> Chantel, the people are not making you eat. The people are not making you diet. They're not making you shoot the footage. They're not making you publish it. All right? So here's where the laughter is for real. I think you need to get off YouTube and get a real job. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> A 500 calorie meal wouldn't even be too bad you know it's just somebody will always have something to say about what you're eating and and eventually you start to like wonder like okay am i really you know is are they just going to forever pick on every single thing that i do chantelle has got it backwards it is she if she wants to keep deciding to make these videos and if she if she wants to keep deciding to be dishonest with these videos that's going to bring criticism and she can delete it on her channel and over here on our reaction channel, she cannot delete it. And um, I think, sadly for me, I think the answer is yes. <laughs> um, and that was always my problem with the reaction channel culture, is that you're perpetuating that. Just people being petty and picking on the little things over and over and over. And just completely forgetting to see me as a person with feelings who is really struggling, um, despite going back to mukbangs, um, no matter no matter what I would do in my videos. I mean, I'm still a person with issues of struggling just like you are, you know? So I never really um, liked that part of that type of culture uh, on here and I just there's so many things that are so negative about it especially doing it a weight loss journey like like I said before you're, you're you have any success then get yourself off YouTube and get, lose all your weight and then come back huh do it for real this time you you you've done that about half a dozen times over the past few years I'm leaving YouTube I'm leaving troll and troll and troll and troll and troll why'd you do it for real lose your weight then come back no you lack this money a lot of people think it helps hold you accountable, but um, like I said, when you have an eating disorder that's based on shame, shame for yourself, having more negativity and more shame in your face every single day. I feel sorry for the people who can't think for themselves and they listen to this nonsense and they believe it. Starts to take a really big toll on your mental health. And that's why I over, I question over and over and over if it's the right thing for me to do health wise. Um, and that doesn't mean people for some reason, a lot of the time can't differentiate the different, you know, the difference between doing weight loss journey on camera and continuing to work on yourself on camera. I can understand the confusion between, you know, whenever I say, okay, I'm going to drop my weight loss journey and then I go back to unhealthy mukbangs. I understand that. Um, I completely understand how crazy it is to one minute cry about your health issues and the dangers of obesity and be on a complete weight loss channel and then all of a sudden you have these people supporting you for a weight loss journey and you go and eat like, you know, 5,000 calories in a mukbang or something like that. So I understand that and that's just not going to happen anymore for me. Um, it's been a while since I've done fast food mukbangs and I do obviously still struggle on the daily with making the right food choices but um, it is something that I'm going to continue to fight and work on and I don't want to go around in circles it's not something I want to do um, it's not like I wake up every day you know and say how can I gain weight today 
how can I piss my audience off? Um, that's not, that's not the intention at all. Um, just trying to be real with you guys and, um, the journey to weight loss is a lot more failures than not. Uh, anybody who's lost a lot of weight will tell you that. It's usually fail, 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 fail. Little, little road of success, fail, 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 fail. Little bit of success, fail, 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 fail. And then one day, boom, you, you just, it changes, you know? And you just keep being consistent, consistent, consistent until you know, you, you, you start getting addicted to that successful feeling. And, um, for me, like I said, it's personal for everyone. Uh, for me, um, I don't know really what, what she's about to do right there is lie and say, I don't know what the issue is. She does know what the issue is. She's dishonest and she's dishonest to her audience over and over and over again just to make money because she's got nothing else to offer society really what the issue is and having so many thousands of different opinions it gets into my head and I start second-guessing myself and um, I think that a big part of the problem is probably um, eating disorders are psychological disorders and I do agree that I need help with that I first thing I did when I got up today I did it took a while to do some research I wasn't successful in finding inpatient care that was covered by my health care plan or that was affordable but I did sign up to see uh, be assessed by a, a team a psychology team and who does like cognitive behavior therapy, DBT, things like that. They do an assessment with you and they place you with the right type of psychologist that you need for help. And she will either not go or if she does, she'll say, this is not for me. You know what she needs? She needs to be completely demonetized. Then she's going to find out what life is really like. Ah, uh, I, I don't come from a rich family. I need a job. Dang, uh, I can't sit around here eating food all day. I got to work to get some money. Um, that's going to be, I have to fill up this assessment and then, um, I think the earliest appointment was August 10th, which is kind of far away, but, uh, that's what I'm doing. So I'm setting up an appointment for that in August and hopefully I can get regular sessions to help me with that. And, um, I'm working with my doctor regarding the nutrition part. Sure, Jan. It was about two years ago your doctor already worked with you and gave you a special diet and uh, you said it wasn't for you. <laughs> Whatever you say, Chantel. Uh, so that's to come. Like these things are not overnight. These things are not immediate. And that's another part of like, I think people expect too much. They expect you to, um, if they don't see certain steps, they think you're not doing anything, you know? <laughs> like, well, you should go see a psychologist right now, or you should be eating only green salads and, and this and that, and, and just things that are not really realistic and are kind of demanding. And that's just how I feel, you know? We do know, Chantel. Believe me, we do. It is not realistic, and it is too demanding to suggest to you, as you are morbidly obese, to have a green salad. We get it. And that's the way your channel is the way it is. You're expecting a magical unicorn to come by and give you a pill. Make all the weight go away. Because you won't eat the good stuff. You won't exercise. And you continue to eat the bad stuff. And you talk about a weight loss journey when you get heavier with every month. You're crazy. You're crazy. Get off YouTube and go get a job. Um... Yeah, I'm not saying everything I do is right. That's far from it. That's not the point at all. Uh, so, you know, I just, I'm sick of that kind of negativity in my comments. People calling me a liar. Chantal, you do lie. You are a liar. That is why there are more people collectively watching you on a reaction than watching you on your own channel. Because who wants to go to your channel and listen to you lie? Might as well just ignore your channel. Come over to the reaction channels for the real fun and get the truth too because there are inpatient treatment facilities 
They think there are inpatient treatment facilities and there's not, you know, um, there are, but not for my, for me specifically. Uh, I've explained that over and over. I am part of, you know, the person, same person was like, well, it's this program uh, and I'm a part of that outpatient program where I have been, you know, already. So it's, it's just, it's just frustrating, you know, and I just feel like, I don't know if I'm going to keep the comments off or not. Nobody cares if you do, you spoiled, immature little girl. Leave them turned off. The comments are turned on and working here on the reaction channels, including this one. You go ahead and leave it turned off. Leave them turned off. Um, my last video I turned them off. I was getting overwhelmed with some threads and I need to pay less attention to the comments. No, Shanta. That is wrong. What we need to do is pay less attention to Chantal. That's what we need to do. Because you don't deserve the attention. You don't deserve the interest. There are people in our own community that need help. It's a sin to waste our work on somebody such as yourself. Our own family, our own friends, our own community. Those things have to come first. We need to pay less attention to Chantal. That's what we need to do. Less attention needs to be paid to Chantel. You can be uh, entertaining here on the reaction channels where you belong. I'm working on that, but I feel like I need to, if I'm going to do any kind of journey like this on social media, <laughs> on my platform where I can control the negativity, that's the least I'm going to do because, and I'm not saying, that's not constructive criticism. This is more shaming, accusing type of comments um, and just downright negative, you know, uh, or comments that are not true, you know, constructive criticism like, oh, maybe you should measure this or do this or the, I really appreciate those comments. They're very helpful, some of them. And uh, that's, I don't have an issue with those, you know. Um, but I have an issue with certain ones and I can't control what goes on around the internet like I know that there's hate forums people spend their time their free time <laughs> I don't have Twitter uh, at all and there's probably tons of Twitter accounts that are talking about me um, you know pictures of me from different angles struggling as a fat person which is completely ridiculous and fat shaming and says more about the person than it does me so that doesn't bug me anymore if you know I'm fat that's you know I can lose weight but your problem is an internal one with yourself and you need to check that. So I don't even have Twitter. So all these people, I don't go on forums. I have a lot of channels blocked that talk negative towards me. So I don't have to, I don't see it. I don't hear it. I have my DMs turned off, um, comments on my Instagram turned off. So have fun, knock yourself out. I can't control that, but you know, I'll, karma will deal with you one day. But what I can control is my channel and i'm allowed to and i control this channel and the other folks with reaction channels control theirs and you are a jackass you are a lying jackass dishonest two-faced liar your channel is not about a weight loss journey your channel is about false drama for money what, what, what you offer is a revolting channel of someone who doesn't want to do anything with themselves and yet wants to get paid for it at the same time and just keeps lying and lying and lying and lying and blaming their audience for everything they do and take no personal responsibility and never really says I'm sorry I did wrong I guess keep the energy positive positive. and what did you do five days after you made this video you lecturing folks with your channel listen Keep the energy positive. Five days later, you ate New York fries, two boxes of it, giant pile of carbs, and you told off your audience. You gave them crap. Straight crap. Keep the energy positive. And then you show and you give negative energy. Your whole channel's toxic. You're full of baloney. That's why people like to criticize you because you deserve it. And you're going to get more of it right here. And that will help me and that will help my other viewers who sometimes message me and say 
the negativity is just can you please filter those comments it really gets to me so that's the reasoning for that okay it's not that i'm a big baby and i can't handle it it's no it is that you are a big baby and you can't handle it that's why you put your fingers in your ears you go la 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 and with the video you just made here on july 10th like well well people just keep the energy positive and that'll be good for me and good for the others and you just knock it off with that garbage five days later you're telling your audience off giving them crap giving them crap you gotta get some here you can get plenty of it here it's that i'm human and sometimes words hurt and they affect you negatively so it has nothing to do with being a weak person it just has to do with being a person period with feelings and a mission that people are trying to sabotage because that's what they want that's what the hate watching is all about you know they come in see if you failed and when you do even though they're secretly hoping you do they shame you for it and that's what this that's my problem with having a weight loss journey is on YouTube and I'm everything that you're saying is a lie and I'm just letting you say it because if I had to react to everything you say this reaction would be a lot longer than what it is and it's already too long the people cannot force you to eat all that food the people cannot force you to go on a tough diet and if you refuse to eat the good food refuse to exercise and insist on keep eating the bad food there ain't no weight loss journey happening and do you think this is all stressful when you're the one deciding to do it then get off YouTube and get a job you crazy just get off YouTube get off YouTube and go get a real job glad I get to share and express my feelings um, on here because it's happened a lot where I'm afraid to even do these kind of videos because they're usually seen as angry rants and just completely losing it <laughs> um, and I proof of that is that this video will get pulled, picked apart by no 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 the proof of it is that five days from now you will go back on everything that you promised again and as you did it and ate all those new york fries you gave crap to your audience again that's the proof of it that's the proof of it Chantel. and that's why we have the reaction channels so we can share the real proof of the real Chantel. and you can get plenty of it here several channels um, but it's, that's how I feel, you know, I'm just being honest with you guys. That's how I feel. Um, I'm going to probably turn comments off for this because I'm not really feeling that well mentally today. And when, if I need a break from that and I need to just shut out the noise, I will just disable my comments. But for the most part, I do want to, um, keep them filtered, but keep, a conversation going but also keep it more positive you know like even obese to beast says you don't have to on his video about Amberlynn you know you don't have to um, insult somebody and, and call them fat failure all this and that you know you can just say something constructive in a nice way and I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to encourage people to be better people and, and be conscious of what they're saying because it's it's a problem Online bullying, um, just negativity online, it, it affects people and not everyone's the same, you know? So, okay, so those are my thoughts on the whole thing. Um, regardless of all that, I'm still going to share it with you. I'm not going to go back to mukbang, so I uh, apologize if you're here for that uh, content and you need to unsubscribe. I completely understand that. I'm not saying I'm not going to do food related content because food is a big part of this and I will definitely do more cooking videos because a lot of you really liked those. Uh, so yeah, so that's about it. I actually feel really good that I got this off my chest and was able to express myself about it and I think that from now on whenever I need to express myself about something I will come on here and just give you peace of my mind <laughs> so anyway um, I guess that's about it for now so I really really 
appreciate you watching me and I really do appreciate you um, following my journey and I, it really means a lot to me that you're in this with me and um, yeah <laughs> so all right guys and um, if you're also on your own journey I wish you luck and you can always email me uh, I'm just taking a break from DMs for now I just get so many <laughs> and I just yeah um, save for a few of my actual like friends and people I talk to regularly you know I, I really uh, I apologize I, I'll, I'll probably open them up again I just sometimes need mental breaks and that's you know <laughs> so but um, I think that if you're on a journey and um, you're in the same boat as me I do feel like a pressure to not let people down on it and I think if you can just follow me and accept that I'm human and there will be mistakes but I'm not gonna give up and I'm not gonna go back to mukbangs and um, eating fast food on camera so that's that I know I know people are expecting that to happen but it's not going to so all right so we can do this guys and I keep thinking of my trip so let's do it all right so I'll see you in the next video bye guys that gave me shivers up my spine hey yay. We know that we're looking at a crazy person now. Uh, there's no journey happening. You're just watching a crazy person who's got an income, doesn't have to work, and is going to keep it that way by keeping this drama channel of hers going. And now we got a react channel. Now, you all subscribe to me now. Okay, I'm just going to let this one run. We, we're done. We're done. We're done. No more still frames. Now, now I want you to subscribe to me. You subscribe to me, hit the notification bell. That's all I ask. Let's have some fun with this.